like September intake is delayed to February mm -hmm. because they wait for students to get visas. The visa procedure can take up to 90 days. Okay. Deadline to apply is uh, by 1st of October. Basically, if you finish in Bulgaria, you can work as doctor in exactly. any EU Exactly, exactly. Country. Because your degree is completely uh, valid and uh, recognized in all over European Union. It's the European uh, education standard that you are receiving. Uh, this is very true and uh, it's good that it's more flexible. Indians, for example, uh, like are now increasing in numbers um, as students in uh, Bulgaria. So uh, it's uh, very open, I would say. Hello MedHeaders, we know that you're probably excited to learn more about your options to study medicine in Europe. Medicine, general medicine, pharmacy, um, uh, veterinary sciences, everything and this is the correct destination you came to. So yet we come again with another new university, the University of Pleven. So thanks Mr. Peter for joining us and uh, sharing all this information. Thank you very much. So he will be guiding us through the university, it's in Bulgaria, in a lovely city and uh, a lovely place to be. And the university overall is uh, very well recognized and popular for international students because of the fee structure very primarily and secondly also the uh, admission procedure and everything. It's very flexible and very much easier to access. So the initials uh, or the initial part is like the admission procedure. So what are the requirements and how does the admission procedure look like, Mr. Peter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this university, uh, it's, uh, it has, let's say, two-step process, mm -hmm. uh, admission process. First of all, you need to submit your uh, documents, especially the academic documents, and mm -hmm. they will take a look on your marks from the biology chemistry. Okay. And then secondly, if like all the paperwork is done correctly, like then they will invite you for the online entrance exam, which uh, will mm -hmm. then add you extra marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. Understood. And uh, like, uh, is how does the evaluation work for them? Like, uh, do they need also any like test, um, uh, external, uh, like externally, internally, or some standardized test course? Yeah. So uh, the most important um, role is that uh, from your higher secondary uh, or your high school final uh, certificate, uh, biology, chemistry, you need to have at least sixty-two percent. Okay of evaluation if you have less or you don't have then you are not eligible okay uh, then also the for the entrance exam uh, the 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 marks or the points which you get in the entrance exam mm -hmm. they will like put you double marks as you can get from the evaluation of your uh, high school certificate okay Okay, interesting. And also the university, uh, Medical University of Pleven, they also provide the, the study material uh, for the chemistry part. And you can like get this uh, questions answer book from the university. So this is like uh, offered by the university I itself. You will pay some small amounts and then like you do the, uh, you can have the preparation for the exam. Understood, understood. That's interesting actually. And uh, like it's a very common practice like uh, for uh, students to like uh, enroll for the universities and then move. Uh, but from a visa standpoint, uh, also I think it's more comfortable to uh, um, get it for Bulgaria, right? Compared well, to uh, this is like really special university because firstly I thought like this has uh, this is university with uh, two intakes. Okay. Like September and spring intake. Mm -hmm. It means like you can serve from like September and also from February, like the same you can do also in Silesia and in uh, Latvia and Riga Stradish University. Mm -hmm. But then I got to know like this is not like two intakes, it's just one intake, but that intake like September intake is delayed to February mm -hmm. because they wait for students to get visas. Ah, okay. That's actually very nice and very uh, uh, welcoming, I would say. Because in uh, Bulgaria, the visa procedure can take up to 90 days. Okay. And if you have it like for up to 90 days, like then, for example, if you get admitted in September, uh, then like if 
like October 9 and December, it would be impossible for you to join on time. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But in those terms, like uh, what's the, uh, like you already mentioned, like, uh, but what's the ideal timeline that a student should follow uh, uh, for the applications, like by when they should ideally be applying to get a uh, letter, let's say? Deadline to apply is uh, by 1st of October. Okay. And then you have like three, um, like you can do the entrance exams in um, September, October, November. So basically in this year, the latest exam was 14th of November, which was like just two days as we are shooting mm -hmm. this video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, so good luck to the ones that appeared for the exam. <laughs> hopefully you passed. Uh, hopefully you did. <laughs> so also the, the like as we checked now like there was high acceptance rate like 70 percent which is exceptional yeah so uh, the university is very welcoming and open to uh, international students uh, also you see like from a visa standpoint and everything that uh, the university is flexible for these things ideally you should apply as early as possible to get your chances to get to know it uh, and so on but also this is a very big decision that you're going to make like which university to go for and one of the primary concerns everyone has with especially studying medicine is the fees so drum rolls please how much yeah, so, is the fees <laughs> yeah this is one of the cheapest uh, medical schools in uh, europe let's call it affordable <laughs> affordable <laughs> sounds better <laughs> and uh, also in the eu because like bulgaria is part of eu basically if you finish in bulgaria you can work as doctor in exactly. any exactly 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 because your degree is completely uh, valid and uh, recognized in all over european union it's the european uh, education standard that you are receiving because medical university <coughs> uh, in general what happens is uh, students are starting their studies few years down the line like three four years down the line they are already like missing subjects, missing half of the things, and then they're looking for transfers so uh, to some other university. But uh, with this university, is it possible to have these transfers or people are progressing and moving uh, there actually? Yeah, so uh, there are many questions from the students who would like to go to Bulgaria, like how exactly does it work with Plavan? Mm -hmm. So even uh, last semester, I had some uh, questions, so then I contacted one uh, local agency, which is in Bulgaria, it's called Study Buddy, mm -hmm. and then they uh, spoke to the um, uh, vice deans or professors in charge. So basically, it's not that straightforward and not that easy to get recognized. The transfer <coughs> students? Uh, yes, uh, the recognized in a sense like the um, subjects from your previous university. Okay. So uh, what they said is that uh, the, the process itself can take like three to six months. Wow. So like you need to start like really soon and they will take a look on your results in several steps. They will check like you need to submit everything like firstly application as first year students and also like the all the curricula, all the documents uh, for the syllabuses and so on for them to compare how many hours you completed, uh, what was the type of completion. So they will check many things. They will check, mm. uh, for example, um, uh, whether your university is recognized, uh, whether your documents are correct or no, you okay. need to translate them. And then only they will check whether you are like eligible uh, for the recognition of some courses. Interesting. So this is like really long process. Uh, it's difficult to tell like to which year, but usually they don't give higher than third year. Okay, that's the usual practice. Yeah. So this that's might be useful sense. for uh, s um, several students because the thing is like sometimes people are expecting like they want to enter directly in fourth year or fifth year. So the chances are like really low in that case. So it's probably going to be the third year. Anything else you want to highlight about the university? What excites a student? Well, Bulgaria might be one of the most affordable options. So for sure. The tuition fees 8,500 euros and lower uh, living costs can yes. be interesting option. I mean, it's Europe, you get the high standard of living that you want, but at the same time, it's comparatively a bit uh, affordable uh, than the rest of Europe. Also, I went like a few years back for a trip to Sofia and I was feeling like, wow, this is amazing because like a taxi costs you like 2.5, 3 euros. 
Okay. Yeah. It's cheaper than Kosice. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, like a long uh, taxi from airport to the city costed me like five euros, which in uh, easily in Slovakia I would pay over like 12, 15 euros. Mm -hmm. The same, right? So, but from a expenditure standpoint, it's very good. And especially because medicine is expensive, here you're like cumulatively spending less on the fees, on the living expenses, and then you can practice anywhere in Europe. So, the most efficient way, you know, to make the max out of uh, your investment in education. Mm. Uh, any other uh, comments you would like to add for uh, students uh, overall that uh, might be helpful? Yep, so this university can be a good option for those who decide late to apply. Mm -hmm. uh, also for students outside of EU, because I think nowadays uh, Bulgaria has become very popular among the Indian students. Mm -hmm. So you have enough time to do your visa procedure, uh, to do all the paperwork, which is like big advantage compared to uh, countries uh, where the uh, class starts in uh, September or October. Mm -hmm. So I would say these are the biggest benefits, like they will uh, wait for you basically in the first year and then you can start normally. Very true, very true. Uh, this is very um, uh, very true and uh, it's good that it's more flexible. Indians, for example, uh, like are now increasing in numbers um, as students in uh, Bulgaria. So uh, it's uh, very open, I would say, overall. Like uh, this sort of information, you can easily find an art channel with uh, different universities, study programs, overall a guide of how medical study system works, what things to check and this is a place where you will have all the uh, correct like uh, information that you will also receive in the university's websites and everywhere so we don't uh, try to misguide any student um, on believing and giving fake expectations and hopes. So for that reason like uh, if you like such content give it a thumbs up if you like the video, share it with someone who's studying medicine right now or is planning to study uh, medicine and do comment what are the other universities you would like us to collaborate shed some light on and uh, share some information about them and subscribe to our channel uh, until next time thanks a lot for watching take care bye bye